Hi everybody, this is Mackerel Phones. Today I'm playing The Endless Express. It's some kind of, uh, indie game. And I don't really know much more about it. But it looks pretty interesting. Okay. I suppose that you're the menu. You have... I can't honestly say your eyes are pretty, but... There's something anyway. What, what What's in here? Uh... This is the menu. You can access this space whenever you need to go to the options, access your inventory, or quit the game. Okay, good to know. And I can just... I can leave? But... Oh! It's a dogfish! Very avant-garde. Okay, what, what else we have here? If you go through here, you'll exit the game, but don't worry, your progress will be saved. Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad they can say- Oh! Are these my shoes? They're my uh, flip-flops? I think they call them thongs in Australia. I might be wrong. Anyway, this is your inventory. If you pick up something up, you can bring it here to save it to your inventory. Good. I mean, it looks like the the pane of glass isn't quite big enough for the text, but... Is that, is that like a Chinese lan lantern? Can we go in, in here? Oh, we can! Oh, we have a uh, our own bath? It's a nice room. It's nice. Oh, that's a very high ceiling. Very luxurious, uh... Very luxurious room for... For... Storing stuff and taking baths. It's a kind of a weird combination. Whatever, I'll, I'll take it. What else do we have in here? Well, I already looked at everything. So what are the options? I guess I cannot access them, right? Oh, I get it. This is just... This isn't saying it's in this store. It's saying that this room in general, all right. Well... I didn't even notice that one. I'm not quite sure what that is. Let's see. You can adjust the resolution. I'm not quite sure what V-Sync is. Um... Yeah, I don't think anything needs to be changed here. I don't think anything needs to be changed. Guess we'll be on our way then. Hey. Hey. Hey! Wake up, what are you doing here? Huh? Um... This one. This train goes to the depot. You'll have a hard time getting home from there. You know what? I'll let you get off at this next station. If you cross the river, you'll manage to catch a train that'll help you go home. Also, this sound is too loud. I'm turning it down. But, be a little more careful next time, okay? Alright. Thanks, man. And so I expose our journey aboard the Endless Express begins. Hmm. I was going to say those almost look like traditional Japanese, you know, like, like, uh, what's that stuff called? Those woodblock prints, ukiyo-e. I think that's what they're called. But it's not. The pink grass is outside. Just us in here. Oh. Oh, you guys are the locals. Left, right, left, right. Gosh, it's tiresome to walk all this way with a bunch of kids. Especially when some of them... Right. You got... I, I like your guys' voice. Anyway. Especially when some of them get lost. Oh, I mean, you, you lost your kid? Yeah, one of the kids got lost. We were on a field trip by the sea, and after visiting the lighthouse and everything, I gave them some time off so they could go buy some knickknacks, get some stamps in their books, and mainly so I could have some peace of mind for a minute or two. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't want to miss my train. I probably should have checked the train schedule before I talked to these guys. Oh, well, worst case scenario, I'll just have to take another train. You know, they, they all on the same route. So, you know, they're mind their little business, and when it's time to go, I start counting them. Yes, I always count them. They do look a bit alike, don't they? Anyway, I realize I'm missing one little fail. Uh... Oh, jeez, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I can afford to ask you one more question. Stefan! The scatterbrain of the club. Always looking at the ceiling when you show him the sea. The kind of kid you'd lose in a teacup. 
Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. I see a train coming in the background. I'm talking and talking. Sorry, if you got a train to catch, catch it. It can be a bit tricky around these parts. Bon voyage, make good use of your solitude. Before you end up like me. Advice for all the bachelors. Oh, wait, got the trains here. What's the train schedule? Wait, wanted? Oh, is this the missing kid? I guess so. Oh, I see, this is a train's time timetable. It's 11.05. Okay, but that doesn't really help me. I mean... Oh, well, we missed our train. Oh, look, there's a Stefan and some of his guys over that train station on the other side of the tracks. Wait. Wait, hold on. Can we... Who are you guys? I mean, this must be some of the other local frog people. Jason! And he calls Jason's name again. I assume it's not the Argonaut one. Wait. I mean... Stefan! What a twist. Should we help them find Stefan? And... Oh. That's what's down there, huh? You know, I think this game might not actually be finished. I seem to recall reading that somewhere. But I might be wrong. Maybe this is a finished version. We better get off the train tracks before we get killed. How do we get back up there? Can we jump? I don't think we can jump. Well, what are we going to do then? Maybe you guys could clear, get off the bridge for me. Thank you. Sorry, excuse me, pardon me. I, I don't, I'm, so, I'm really... Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to, to, to push you around like that. I'm sorry. Anyway, what's this? Who are you? Are you the train supervisor man? You have a bit of a slouch. You, you might want to see a chiropractor. You realize you're currently blocking my view, I hope. Oh, I'm blocking your view on what? I'm under the impression that... Well, it doesn't look like I quite finished that thought, so I'll go with this one. I see that you decided to continue to block my view. Well, I... What a... Sorry, man. Wait, huh? What's this? Oh, we can buy ice cream! And this is also a train station. I am never going to get home because I have no idea how to read this schedule. Wait, wagon? Ugh! It's like something from one of those weird experimental adult swim kind of show. Wait, huh? Note to travelers. Dear traveler, we have heard your companions and are working on clearer timetables for your beloved train network. We have hired cheap college students working for exposure. They're cheap and don't hesitate to do unpaid overtime, so the result will probably be amazing. Oh no. In the meantime, please bear with the current timetable system and have a safe trip. We at the Endless Express Railway Service only offer you the best of the best and hope you enjoy our service. Andre Endless, CEO of the Endless Express Railway Service. So it really is called the Endless Express, huh? Well, right now it's 11.08. And so, what are we looking for? So we're here. We probably want to go to this dark one next, right? So that means it comes at, uh... But every minute of every hour. No, every minute in an hour, I see. So they come, they're, they follow an hourly schedule. So it looks like... Uh, next one comes at... Oh, comes in a minute! Maybe we'll, uh... How about... Let's catch the one at 11.30. We, 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 we can afford to look around a little more here in this uh, forest of uh, cherry blossoms. Hello, ice cream man. I see that you have a fan on. Probably because you would melt without it. Now would be very sad. So how about some ice cream? They're really tasty. How much? What do you mean, how much? Well, how much for the ice cream? I don't understand your question. This one. For an ice cream? How much money I ask for an ice cream? Don't even think about it. You thought my ice creams were for sale? Unbelievable. Oh, are they like your kids? 
Oh yeah, think about it, stupid. If I sell my ice cream, I won't have any in my shop. And how do you suppose I'd run my shop then? Sure. That's because it is. This is the greatest joke I've ever heard. Selling my ice cream. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll uh, see ya. Yeah, goodbye. And if you have any more genius ideas, come tell me. Um, I, I, I will. Well, I guess we'll, uh, I don't know how much there more is for us to see here. Can we find Stefan? Oh wait, we could take a staircase over there. It would maybe take us down to um, uh, a place where we could find Stefan. You know, I mean, I know we're in a bit of a hurt. Oh. Can we go in? No, no, we, we can't go in it. It's 11.10, we still have 20 minutes. Yeah, let's go down there, let's go down that staircase. We won't block the grumpy man's view. Maybe we'll become local heroes. Oh! Well, no, no, it's not that train. I don't even understand which train we're taking. Hopefully it'll be a train that'll get us to a different location, though. Well, pardon me, guys, pardon me. Thank you. Gotta go take the stairs, and we're gonna find Stefan. Now you might think, what, what do I care about Stefan? Well, not only is helping people the typical video game logic, but also, we could become local legends here. We'll go down in the local lore as being those guys who... Or not those guys, as being that guy who found Stefan. And Stefan, he'll be so grateful. He'll like, he'll love us. He'll make, it will turn his life around. He's a bit of a slacker now, a bit of a rebel kind of guy. But, but, but you know what? We're gonna, oh God. Wait, can we just follow the train tracks? Cause this is gonna take forever. Wait, holy crap, we can? Oh no, it just kind of resets. Anyway, so it's 11.12. I know I said I'd wait till 11.30, uh, but I don't know if there's anything more we can do here. You guys get any leads on Stefan? Uh, man, this would be... In real life, this would be like my worst nightmare. It's like... Or really, my, my worst fears are normally with buses. I never take trains, but... You know, riding a bus or a train or whatever, and not knowing, and you know, waiting too long... You fall asleep or something, and you end up in some, in God knows where. How do I get on? How, how do I get on the train? I need to get on the train. L let me on to it, please. Can I... No! Um... That's fine? I'm... It's fine! Oh, maybe I need to take that train over there. I can do that. I might not manage to find Stefan, but, you know, really, in traveling, we don't solve other people's problems, we just sort of get involved in them. Or, we don't do even get involved in them, we just sort of notice them. We're gonna meet a lot of interesting people on our travels, I think, that's my current impression. And, huh? Hey, are you Stefan? Oh no, you're the you're no, you're the guy searching for Stefan. Well, good luck, sir. Okay. Let's just wait here. See, this is what happens when you fall asleep on a train. When you fall asleep on the bus, I'm sure it's a similar phenomenon, except that um, you know, there. You're on a bus, and not on a train. I just don't have the uh, training to know how to do in this situation. I'm sorry, that, that was... Wait, I'm not sorry. I don't regret that. I don't regret that at all. Anyway, soon we're gonna have to make like these trees and leaf. I do regret that one. That one was very cliche. It was hackneyed, it's been done to death. Huh? It's the train! Good. Surely we can get on this train. I mean, we have to wait for it to stop. Oh yeah, we can. What's the picture of here? 
Oh, it's just like a palette swap of the other one. Uh, that, those mouse-shaped, misshapen fish must be the mascots of Endless, of the Endless Express Company. Maybe Andre Endless's daughter drew them. That'd be kind of sweet. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. What kind of place are we in? Oh, there's another letter from him. Dear Traveler, we have heard your complaints. We're oh, they're still working on to the clear timetables made by the cheap college students. What? Oh, we're in like some kind of developing country which is under a dictatorial government, aren't we? Is there anyone around here? Oh yeah, there are. They're on the other side of the tracks, though. That could be symbolic of how they're living a different kind of life than we are. Oh, we can go in. This must be one of their train stations. We talked to... There's no one here, though. It's abandoned. It's weird. And... Oh. Oh, is it gonna be... Gonna find some kind of secret? We're gonna get in trouble with the, with the local dictatorial government? That'd be interesting. Oh, what a nice view. Look at that majestic landscape. Oh, what was that? I ah, probably just something blowing in the wind. Let's keep going. Got some ivy here. It's very, it's very, uh, it's a very good atmospheric design. Clearly, whoever made this train station was uh, had a great sense of aesthetics. And wait a minute, we're on the other side of the tracks now. Good. That's much safer than jumping down into where the tracks are and risking getting hit by a train. Well, let's uh, let's go down here. This seems like a savanna kind of place, it, huh? Or it's a utility pole. And I get it, the lines are wind, but there's no wires on the utility pole. Well, like, a, it's very stylized. Maybe the, there are wires, it's just very stylized. Oh, this rock's smaller than the other ones. So is that rock. Maybe these two small rocks are brothers. They gotta stick together with all these big rocks here. Big rocks might pick on them. Anyway, it's a... What are these? There's are trees? Yeah, they're trees. Oh, so you're one of the locals. Oh, wow, um... You have very pretty lips, but... You know, I shouldn't judge. Maybe... Maybe it's just how they look here. They look... suspicious. Tell me, how awesome is my car? It's pretty awesome. Wanna go for a test drive? Yeah, why not? We the train will train comes every few minutes. It's not a big deal. Well, forget about that. You're not good enough. This beast has enough horsepower to take you to the final train station. Plus, he only reacts to my nimble fingers. You condescending person. Yeah, I know people like you. The kind of people taking the train. Heh. <laughs> I'll lame the train. Really. We want to get his, see his car in action. Um. Uh. Well, right now I can't. Because the gas station's closed. But, wait till I find some gasoline. You'll see a comet soaring through the landscape. Yeah. Go back to playing with your little wagons over there. I don't like this train station. Uh, well, anyway, uh, you know his car also looks like it had a face. And it, uh, oh, hey, buddy, I don't think that this gas station's going to open anytime soon. Must have closed with the Great Recession. What's this? This is a ta this is a table. Well, yeah, his car definitely has a face. Can we talk to the car? Not talk to the car. I bet the car's name is Panion. Oh god, we gotta get on the train. Get on the train. Oh, it's for the other side. Yeah, yeah. Let's see when the next train's gonna come. Oh, they're still looking for that guy here. And huh? Is this the same letter? Yeah, it is. So let's see. It's uh, eleven thirty right now, and we are at hut. I don't know. It's 11.30 right now. We're at the second train station. So, 
it looks like it'll next train to this next station, which is just a black... Or, or wait a minute. Oh, I see. There are two train stations that... Well, I don't know why it's at nighttime in the picture, but yeah, it looks like there's a train station that's just a black void and another one that's a lighthouse. I'm kind of interested in the black void, honestly. Now let's go, uh... It comes at, uh, let's see, 32? No, it comes at 33. All right. In fact, it sounds like trains are now. Let's get, get away, get away, no. Get away from it. Yeah, here. Get in there. No, oh. You should have gotten away from it, dude. Why didn't you? Also, yeah, we're ghosts. We don't have a body. We just have an arm that occasionally flits into our field of vision. That's something I really hate in first-person games, is when your character doesn't have a body. It's really weird. Like, when you look down, you should be able to see your body. There's something very wrong if you can't see your body, then. Anyway, let's see this again. So, the next one is going to come... It's 33 right now. So... Let's see, 33, 35. We just have to wait a minute. We'll be able to go to the black void then. Oh, is it the time now? May no? Did I get on the wrong train? I think I got on the wrong train. Hold on. It's not supposed to come till 35, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was the uh, a different. Tra Actually, it looks like both trains come at 33. Look, the one I want for sure is at 35, so I'll wait till then. Although, truthfully, I fear that the train that will come at 35 is not going to be the kind of train I terribly want to ride. I'm afraid that it's going to maybe take us to some place we're better off not going. Anyway. Anyway. Wind whistling past our ears. Sun shining bright in the sky above. Really, this minimalistic art style, I think, is sort of striking. Although this game, this game concept strikes me as something you could do something really interesting with. But which, probably due to budgetary and time constraints, which I suppose ultimately are just budgetary constraints, the people who made this game uh, probably are never going to be able to fully realize that ambition. Well, maybe if they really work hard at it. Could. Could then. In any case, if there are only four train stations, I don't think this express is exactly endless. Also, it looks like the final train station will also take us to that void. That's weird. Yeah, that's, that's weird. You think it's our goal to go to the void? Oh, wait, it's here! It's here! Get away from it! Get away from the bulletin board! Oh crap, it's on the other side! Or wait, no. Here, here's our train. That's fine. Sure. Thank you. Well. We're gonna go then. Can we sit down? No, we can't. We can't sit down. Our watch is silly looking. That's fine. We can have whatever kind of watch we want, you know, man. We have every right to that. Look at the savannah sprawl past us. Oh. What is this place? Oh crap, I took the wrong train. So here we are. We're gonna be back here. We're gonna, we're gonna catch the train this time. Not catch the wrong train. It's so frustrating. And we probably have places to be, you know? I mean, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe the, we're, we're all addicted to drugs, like the spam pouring contents of, 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 of a test tube down his gullet. And that's why we're seeing everything so weird, is because we're tripping out. I hope that isn't what's happening. Oh, I didn't even notice that ivy before. Is there, is there anything on the back side of this building? Probably not. Probably, there's not. Worth a look. So what we want is the... We took the wrong train last time. We don't want the train to the Black Void. We want the train to the Lighthouse. And it looks like it's going to come at, uh, let's see, it's 11.52 right now. It's gonna come at 11, at 11.54. All right, wait till 11.54 then. 
I'm pretty sure that's what time it actually is. No, nah, they're like 30 minutes off. That's pretty close to what time it is, though. What a coincidence. This minimalistic art style has a kind of beauty to it. Whoa! There's the other train. Is it 11.54? No, no, no! This isn't the train we want. The train we want arrives at 11.54. I think. Is there a different train that arrives at 11.53, or does it, do they leave at 11.54? Um. Okay, so here it is. 11.54. 11.50... 50... 53... Wait, is it the bottom one? We want... Which one did we want? We want the top one, the pink one. 11.50... Yeah, there is a train that comes at 11.53. That's not the one we want. We want the one that's the 11.54 train. Which is about to come, is probably on its way right now, because it's 11.54. Unless the schedule means that's what time they leave. I think it does. Oh wait, no it doesn't. There's our train, right on schedule. I would expect them to be, since they seem to be automated. Oh, this car has white doors. It's a little different from the orange door cars. Still take a ride on this one. Oh man, look at those... Look at those clipping textures. Goodbye, clipping dictatorial poster textures. I hardly knew ye. We're gonna get home yet. Oh, it's a rainy day here at the at the coast. Maybe I should check the the uh, schedule now, so I can try and time myself accordingly. So right now, we're at the windblown coast, which from which point we can get to these three stations. I think we want to get to the bottom one. So right now it's 12:05. We'll stay here for a half hour or so. In the next, uh, there's going to be a train that'll come here at 12. 1228 and 1233. Well, I'll catch the 28 or 33 then. Does anyone live out here? Oh, yeah, here's somebody. I think. Yeah, it is somebody. Is that a whale? Or is it. No, I think it's just a, just a boat. Might be even be an island in this art style. Hey, you look like the sh kind of shape of the guy who was behind the window earlier. You might be lo must be lonely out here. Bet people don't stop at this train station very often. Hi there, little one. So, we're going for a stroll. Take a hold on life. <laughs> yes, well, I do wear glasses, yes. When I was your age, my glasses weren't nearly as thick, youngin. But hey, you can't rewind time. I have accepted who I am right now. Things are as they are when you're 392 years old, small fry. <laughs> well, what a great conversation. Hope you have fun on your little stroll. Fun is what matters most. Or is it? Oh, by the way, I suggest you don't trust the young fellow over there by the lighthouse. He's a ne'er-do-well. Oh. Well, you're very old, sir. I respect age. Most cultures hold that you should respect your elders. I believe you should. Unless your elders are like very bad people who are abusive and selfish and vindictive, then, then don't. Yeah, it looks like there's only one train track here. Wonder how that works. I don't know. Clearly, Andre Endless has established quite an ex uh, quite a complex railway system. That one is a boat for sure. Well, 
you know what? Let's see what's on the other side of this bridge. This bridge, maybe due to its shape and red color, reminds me of like a... Those old Japanese gates, you know? Are you going to climb the lighthouse and get a beautiful view? Look at these leaves. What? 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 I don't want to take somebody's watering can. Do I really want to go around the back? Oh, maybe I do. Do I? Do I? No. We're going to die. We're going to slip off this wet cliff and die. Let's not do that. Instead of that, let's see what's in the lighthouse. So here's that window we were just on the outside of. This just keeps going higher and higher. Oh. Are you the youngin that the other fella... <gasps> You got pretty far away, Stefan! But I know it's you, Stefan! How do I talk to you? I have to go above him. Right? It'll appear again. Just you wait. It'll, it'll show up. There! Ah, the sea. The wind. The tranquility. Shouldn't you be with your buddies, little boy? Or, I'm sorry, uh... Should... I mean, that's not where the apostrophe goes. Depends. Who's asking? Me. But... Wait a second. How do you know about the others? Darn, I've been spotted. I won't tell anybody, kid. Really? You... know how to keep a secret? More or less. Hey, you're pretty cool. I feel like you understand the beauty of solitary travels, right? Take this incredible view all in. You won't see this every day, I tell you, my companion. My intonation was a bit off. It, this is a pretty spectacular view. The ocean is a pretty spectacular thing. This could make a pretty good uh, little like episode of a kid's show, I think. Hey, buddy. Anything else to stay? I'll take it all in, don't worry. What's this you have next to you? Is this like your bag? Yeah, I guess it is. Well, I really won't tell anyone. Who am I to say that you shouldn't enjoy solitary travels, huh? Maybe in some sense, we're all solitary. Can we turn on the light? I don't want anyone to get hit. Oh, yeah, what time is it? Oh, we still have a few minutes. Let's go uh, see what the deal is with that watering can. If that weren't a backpack next to him, I would have thought it was like a plot of soil and we would have to water it and then a big beautiful flower would grow up. And it would remind him of the big, all the, all the cherry blossom trees back home. In case, let's, let's check this out. What is this? This is watering can. Right. Oh, we just just water with it. Sure. Um, is there something we need to water with it? I mean, this place doesn't seem like it's particularly parched, you know. Do we need to go back to the previous train station and water something there. That place seemed pretty parched. It seemed thirsty. We need to water the old man and he'll grow into a big, beautiful man. No, he's probably wondering why the heck I just made his legs all wet. We're all wet too. We've been walking around in the rain. You shouldn't do that without a raincoat, you know. Or without galoshes. Otherwise, your shoes will get all wet. And if your shoes get all wet, you'll get all wet. I know what he wants that. I'll set that down. We need to bring that back to the previous... What? Oh, no. Okay, no, this is fine. Let's set it down somewhere where we won't kick it under the sign. And, uh, let's see. So... Uh, wah! Maybe what we need to do, okay, is check out... So, so, so let's see, which, which one will take us back to the previous train station? 
This one. The pink one. So the pink train will come at, uh, it's, it's, uh, 12.13. We'll come at 12, uh, 15. That's only a couple minutes. Only a couple minutes. I can use that time to go make a sandwich or something. Not really. I, I couldn't do that. I'm not fast enough at sandwich making to make a sandwich that fast. I think that's the train that we need to take to get to the next station, but no. You know what, though? We're not doing that. What? Oh, I have to hold down the button the whole time? In that case, I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait. By the way, if you're wondering how this watering can is an indefinite supply of water, it's because it's raining and the raindrops are falling into it. This reminds me a little bit of the uh, Pacific Coast. It's a spectacular sight, that place is. Maybe I did the wrong thing. Maybe I should go back and tell those other guys back in the Cherry Blossom Forest about where Stefan was. But at the same time, I made a promise to Stefan. I don't want to disillusion him like that. But then again, maybe you need to be disillusioned. It's just ignorance is all that is. Ignorance isn't very good for anybody. This music reminds me a little bit of, uh, some of the stuff in Ms. Pac-Man Maze Madness. We'll just pace around while we wait for it to come, occasionally squirting out water. Ms. Pac-Man Maze Madness is a great game. One that I don't think I have ever heard anyone else ever talk about in any context. Well, that's not quite true. One time I saw someone talking about it as it being a uh, extension of the formula of the original Pac-Man done in a like, interesting way. Oh, is this the train? I think it is. Let's get aboard with our watering can. Watering... You know, we're not a solitary traveler anymore. Now we have a watering can. A watering can friend. We'll water... all the soil. And there'll be plants. It'll be beautiful. What? What was that little noise? Wait, what? Aw, oh, man! You kidding me? They- the conductor confiscated our watering can! I suppose it might, if we put- introduce too much water to this place, after all, it might screw up the biome here. I guess this'll just take us back to where we were before, won't it? Oh wait, no it won't! It'll go the opposite direction. Dodged a bullet with that one. This looks like it's going to take us to, like, a forested mountain. The red train, and the red train will be here at... See, it's 12... it's 12.40. It'll be here in just three minutes. It's not long at all. Just... just till 12.43. Man, I could have gone for some of that ice cream that that guy wouldn't sell us. This is it 12.43? Nuh-uh! Nah, falling for that one. Actually, what color is it? Well, it is, uh... It's the red train. We want to take the red train. This is getting more complicated. Now there are three trains that come to this station. And they come pretty darn close to each other. I mean, this is a very efficient, uh... Very efficient train system. I, I mean, for something that seems to be this large scale, I mean. I've seen very efficient sort of train systems like in, uh... Uh, like when I've been in Washington, D.C., for example. I, I seem to remember they had a pretty nice sort of... Uh, what, was it a train? Yeah, I guess it was a train. I guess it was a train. Just remember sitting on there, reading a book. Good good times, good times. I suppose that, uh... Whether we get home or not... Home is where our stuff is. Home is where our heart is. So, maybe we maybe we're home already. Maybe we are home. You never know. This is really a creative little game. I hope that the guys who made this make more things and get the time and budget and everything else needed to 
make things that are really full throttle, engaging, original, full out games rather than, I wouldn't quite call this like a tech demo, but it, it does feel a little, you know what, what am I saying? Games don't need to be complete. It's nice that we have little art games like this that are floating around. Even if uh, most of the time the AAA developers would never, ever, ever even touch anything uh, of this style. It has to be all gritty and as close to photorealistic as they can get. Anyway, here's the train we're looking for. This kept its doors open. That seems unsafe. Next, to the mountain. To the mountains and the prairies and the oceans white with foam. Hey, come to think of it, we have been to a prairie and to an ocean white with foam. Whoa. This is some exotic wildlife. They look a little bit like Dales from Kirby's Air Ride. Oh. It's the same letter, I'm sure. So I guess from here, we just needed to take one more train. Oh, wait a minute. I see. Now, if I had wanted to keep that watering can, I should have put it in my inventory. Wait, what? It's a frogman. Frogman, wait, hold on, frogman. I hear you, your heavy breathing, frogman. Please, frogman, I want to talk, frogman. I guess he doesn't want to talk. He just wants to breathe a lot. I mean, we all breathe a lot. What you gotta do to stay alive. Oh, look, there are even little fireflies suspended in the air, like the Kokiri Forest. Oh, it's an actual human! Man, we must be getting closer to home. Now we can't talk to them, probably because they're just animals. Wait, huh? Oh, can we go up the mountain? That'd be cool, let's go talk to that uh, photography kid first. Ah! Oh, he's very interested in us. Kind of creeped me out. I mean, maybe we're very interesting looking, I don't know. I mean, you think that's a he? Gender is a little ambiguous, actually. Maybe that's an intentional thing, though. Hey, get out of my frame! What's going on? You never seen a camera before or something? I'm a photography student, and I don't want to ruin my film roll with your mug on my pictures. Then quit keeping your lens focused on me! Ha! You think you're funny, right? You might want to know that me, I'm very respected in my field of expertise. But I thought you just said that you were a film student. Fine art photography. That's with a capital F, a capital A, and a capital P. I have exhibitions in at least 30 galleries. You're lucky. You rarely meet a star like me. I am. I like these options. I might sound pretentious, but that's merely a facade. There are so many vultures gravitating around me all the time. Every day is a challenge. Do you like photography? I wouldn't say, uh, I mean, these are two uh, pretty different extremes here. I'd say, yeah, I like it. Ah. I can tell you're a very cultivated and sensible person. I wouldn't be surprised if you've dabbled with photography before, have you not? Yeah. Ha! I have a special sense to recognize the cream of the crop, and you're certainly the cream. You know, I'd love to continue talking to you, but I have a lot of work waiting for me. If you ever visit one of my exhibitions, tell them you know me. There might be a little something for you. Sure. Interesting animal. What the? Wait, what? These line anim birds are kind of freaking me out. Let's uh, let's go up the mountain. 
Oh, we missed the cable car. Oh, that's fine, because another one's coming. You know, falling asleep on the train ended up giving us a little vacation. Maybe I shouldn't be so afraid of encountering, encountering different places than I'm used to after all. I'm still not going to fall asleep on the bus. I feel like I'd get mugged. Look at the curious fauna out there. Not to be confused with flora, which are the plants. Oh, look. On the subject of fauna, we can see more of the frogs waddling around, just doing frog things. I wonder how high up this is going to bring us. Pretty high up, I guess. Oh wait, no, we're going down the mountain! That's a little weird. That's not what I expected. Talk about subverting expectations. Also, the song sounds minor now. I wonder why. Huh? Uh... We got some ruined columns, a tent. Are you a squatter? Are you like a native inhabitant? Can we talk to you? What? Why did it get quiet? Why is it getting quiet? That was... This is weird. Does it... Is it gonna get all quiet? No, I guess it was just a glitch for a second? Maybe... I don't know. Oh. Oh, we can talk to you. Don't listen to him. He's a bit nuts. Who are you? I forgot. Yeah. You're surely joking about that. We saw all of them leave. One after the other. <laughs> uh, whatever you say. It's a little weird how the music seems to be coming from a certain direction and... What? You don't understand anything about this, do you? Nope. That's okay. It's common around here. Some of them leave faster than others. Maybe to save their soul. Who are they? The ones like you. The ones going. Going where? Somewhere. At a certain point, we all have to go home. Right? Maybe. Hmm. It might be time for you to follow the others. What? Oh, it's the menu! That's a little weird. I know you told me not to listen to that other guy because he's nuts, but... Are we sure we can't talk to the one-eyed one? We can. Yeah. Tired of your wandering? Yeah, a bit. Yeah. Are these people, like, trying to kill me? Did I stumble upon some kind of cult in the woods that wants to practice some form of ritual sacrifice? I mean, it's just the menu screen, right? Oh! Can we go... I assume we're just gonna walk through it normally here, right? What? Oh, no. We... What? What? Where'd it go? Wah! 
Uh, there you go. You're not gonna let me in? There we go. Oh! You mean we aren't gonna continue looking around? Well, this is the way out. There's our rain boots, and this is the the bathroom. Can we take can we can we take a little bath? Wash our bodies, our souls, our spirits. Get it all out of our system. Oh, I should have gotten the the watering can. Maybe I'm gonna get the not watering can ending. But I guess most of us get that ending. Really, we all do, after all. Since, in the end, we leave the world with everything we came into it with. Nothing but our screaming bodies. Maybe the Endless Express wasn't so endless after all. Oh! A... Bamboo forest! It's very tall. What? Are we just following... some, like, miniature... rail tracks? I suppose so. Look at all those bamboo, all those bamboo shoots. I wonder what we're gonna find at the end of it. I suppose that's the big question you have about uh, all kinds of things in life though, isn't it? Like what we're gonna find at the end of life. For example. What... what eyes that, that our doorway has? This reminds me of the movie, uh, Control. It's a Hungarian film. Except at the end of that movie, they finally leave the underground, and go up the escalator, not down it. Maybe it's turned off? Is this normal? Is our ca the, the protagonist doesn't seem to mind this much. I guess it's all symbolic, isn't it? Or is it? I don't know. What? It's the... the cultists. The forest people. Perhaps I'm unfair to call them a cult, but... How do we get over there? We can't jump. If we jump, if we go down there, we're gonna fall down the pit. Can we go into the train? Oh, we can. Am I sure I can't get over there to them? There must be some way. I'm sure they have something to tell me, other than their judgmental stares. Maybe not. Can I even walk off this? No, I can't walk off this ledge anyway. Well, guys, I hope you knew what you're talking about. I mean, it looks like there's other another way up past you. Yeah, this does not look like a train station that's seen much use recently. What? Oh, it's going. I hope you guys haven't tricked me now. Where are we going? It's a balloon? How do I get out? Oh. Oh, we're in a tundra. Oh, uh, I hope we're dressed for this weather. Is this how we get home? What's that under the ice? Oh, 
Oh, they're creatures. Oh, God. Look at that thing. It seems like it's staring right at me. In fact, I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is staring right at me. So its eyes aren't frozen. It's alive anyway. Is it a metaphor for us? Is our complacency in some sense frozen us even though we yet remain alive? Even though we yet perhaps have some chance of escaping? Of taking the balloon and going home? Or maybe we are home. Maybe home is the complacency we need to escape. Maybe there is no way back home after all we've seen in our travels. Is this your balloon, man? I assume you're a man. I can't quite tell with your body all covered up like this. Hey, hi. I knew you were coming. How so? Because I can see in the future! Just kidding. I could see you from the blimp. It was funny watching you go from station to station without knowing where to go. But hey, maybe that's actually the nicest way to travel. Embracing the unknown without a clue of what'll come next. That's a nice way to put it, I guess. Yeah, I can be a bit of a philosopher as soon as I have my feet on the ground. Okay, maybe that was a bit over the top there. Lately, I've been using the same word games again and again, as there are a lot of travelers coming through here. So I'm always telling the same jokes and gags. I mean, you gotta have fun some way, right? Who are you, anyway? Isn't that obvious? I'm the Blimp Master. And what you can see above you right now is my masterpiece. Well, enough chit-chat. You might want to leave, I suppose. Can we ride your blimp with you? Maybe that's where we need to travel to. Maybe that's where our journey is meant to take us, right? You can hop on the platform there when you're ready to go. Don't worry about me. I'm used to the cold anyway. Yeah, it is pretty cold up in the upper atmosphere, though it gets hot once you get to the thermosphere. But, well, it doesn't really get hot. The temperature gets high. That's, that's actually a different thing. I, I, I don't want to take your blimp from you. I mean, I don't even know how to fly one of these. But maybe that's part of the experience in this metaphor world. Okay, I... What? You're very friendly, Blimp Master. I like you. I wish you would come up here with me, though. I don't want to be... What? A lot of travelers have been coming through here lately. Well, well, well. If it isn't little... C can we talk to you? Can... St Stefan. Can I want to talk to you, Stefan. Can we not? I think we're... I don't think so. Oh! You're welcome. Keep up the good work, you guys. I suppose that we end up being fellow travelers with, uh, Stefan. Who knows if we find our way home. But maybe we don't need to. Maybe what we really need is a journey. Anyway, uh, that was a charming little, little art game. This has been Macro Phones, guys. See you around.